Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. Welcome back to my channel. I'm rolling with no background still because I still haven't gotten feedback on whether you guys want the background or you don't want the background. So please let me know in the comment section down below. It is slightly awkward filming this today because uh, the way that the buildings are set up on my street, there is a window uh, six feet from my window so I can peer directly into somebody's kitchen uh, which means they can peer directly at me and they have their windows open right now and so do I for lighting reasons so uh, someone's watching me make this make this intro so um it's weird it's weird being watched in live you know I don't know I don't know if I can ever do a live show I don't know that being said, welcome to all the new foods that I tried in May. It's already May. Time is flying by. I have to mention one thing that I didn't review in the video that I've been really liking lately that I think I tried for the first time in May. I had the haagen -Dazs. I think it's called Coconut Caramel Dark Chocolate Bars. I'll put a photo right here. They're so freaking good. I've been addicted. They're amazing. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. Please go get some. That being said, I reviewed a bunch of interesting things this week. I got my hands on a few of them uh, at the supermarket, a few of them online, so I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, here are all the new vegan foods that I got to try in May. Okay, literally the quickest review, this Good Planet Dairy Free Strawberry Almond Milk Yogurt, not good, super runny, has like a weird diet taste, not a fan. Oh, it's because it uses stevia maybe, I don't know, don't like it, no. Uh, five out of ten. This is how it looks like, by the way. I have some berries in here, but like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's not even pink. It's like gray. I don't know. It's just not that good. I must also add that it gave me the shits, so really don't buy this yogurt. Hey guys, we're about to review Jello. Actually, we're about to review this specific flavor because I already had the raspberry flavor from Simply Delish. I thought it was good, but it tasted a little bit, you know, a little bit much like stevia. I understand that it is a sugar-free Jello though, so it's kind of to be expected. Today I made the orange, oh, I literally just popped it out of the container, the orange flavor. <sighs> it smells kind of like Fanta, like orange soda. And it is very uh, texturally accurate to what I grew up eating. Very jello-y. We about to try it now. That stevia taste. I don't like the stevia taste. I mean, I love the fact that I can eat something jello-y and yum, but petition to have them make a sugar version. Some vegans aren't looking for sugar-free, you know? But even with the stevia, it's a little bit addicting. I'm about to eat this whole container for a snack. Mm. A 7.5 out of 10. It would get higher if the stevia taste wasn't so strong. All right, time for a little taste test. Today I have Purely Elizabeth Ancient Grain Granola Bar, original, salty, sweet, and crunchy, sweetened with coconut oil and baked with what? Sweetened with coconut sugar and baked with coconut oil. It looks good, let's review it. There's no honey in here, right? Cool. I feel like my skin looks hella good right now. Ooh. Okay, right off the bat, as soon as I pulled it out of the packaging, it started to crumble. It's giving me very strong Nature's Valley crumbly bar vibes, you know? I'm so sorry about the drilling. It's literally drilling. And there's an airplane flying overhead. Oh, wow. Anyway. It's basically a vegan nature's valley bar. Maybe a little bit more substance, like less crumbly, but it's really good. Nine and a half out of 10. Really, really good. Definitely approve. Just popping in for a quick review. Uh, today we're gonna review, what is it called? Diana's Bananas. It's basically a frozen banana dipped in dark chocolate. If you wanna see the packaging, I'll insert a clip right here. This is how the packaging looks like. And this is the frozen banana. I got it because I thought maybe it would be nice to have something nice and cold and sweet without like indulging in a full on ice cream bar. So, this is how it looks like. Please refrain from any odd comments. I do understand it looks weird. 
The chocolate on the outside is really good. It tastes exactly the way you imagine, like a frozen banana with chocolate on the outside, and it's pretty good. 8.5 out of 10, would recommend if you're looking for a lighter, healthier snack. Healthier is a weird word, but you know what I mean. Hey guys, good morning. Um, welcome to another taste testy thing. Today we're gonna try the Right Foods Mr. McDougal's uh, Asian noodles and teriyaki flavor. I, I, I don't know if I tried, did I try this one? I don't know if I tried this one. I've tried a lot of these soups, but I just have a feeling that I haven't tried the teriyaki flavor ones. And if I have before, oops. But if I haven't, then here's my review. I'm gonna go pop this in the microwave and we're gonna do a little taste test. Okay, so I microwaved it and I have to say a few things before I taste it. First, it says on the container to um, microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. And I had to microwave it for like three minutes and 30 seconds. And then it says to let sit. So I'm letting sit for a moment because the noodles are still hard. So hopefully having it sit, you know, in the hot water for a while will soften the noodles. But also disclaimer, I just looked at the top of the container and it expired three months ago. I'm still totally gonna eat it because I didn't bring any other food to work and I'm really hungry. And honestly, expiration dates are more of expiration suggestions, okay? All right, it's been soaking for a while. Uh, the nudes look like they've gotten softer. Now you guys could see that. That is how it looks like. The nudes look soft enough to eat, so let's taste it. Also, this is only 200 calories, so it's like not really a meal. It's more of a snack. But I'll let you know what I'm doing about that later. You know what? A little sweet for my taste, but they are going after teriyaki flavor. Also keep in mind that this review might not be accurate because it's expired. But I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Decent. I still prefer the chicken noodle soup from them. I knew that this wouldn't fill me. So I may or may not have chopped up some tofu this morning. And my meal today is going to be this tofu plopped into this. Hey guys, we're gonna do a really lazy review right now because I don't even feel like getting a utensil, but this thing has been sitting in my room waiting for a review for like two weeks now and I just wanna get it over with so I can try it and then put it in my kitchen and then eat it, I guess, use it all up. Here's what we are reviewing, apple honey. And so I've been curious about uh, vegan honey for a really long time now. Um, the brand that I used to see a lot was called Be Free Honey. Unfortunately, I think they're out of business now. And I never really got to try them, so I don't even know if they were good or not. But when I was on veganessentials.com, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I can finally, you know, try a vegan honey. It is made out of apples, I think, yep. Well, it's literally, it's literally called apple honey. It's literally, literally called apple honey, so it better be made out of apples. Um, and it says, wildflower honey flavor, a natural vegan honey alternative made with New York State apples from Hudson Valley farmers. Ingredients, cane sugar, apple cider, lemon juice. GMO free, vegan, gluten free. So no, I'm not even going to go downstairs to get myself a utensil. I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh, no, that's nasty. I'll get a, oh, you know what I can do? I have a reusable straw in my room, so this is the utensil that we're gonna use. I'm not gonna drink it, I'm just gonna like, you know, scoop it, you know? Anyway. Yo, that face I made was so ugly, but this is literally honey, bruh. This is literally. You're telling me this isn't honey? I mean, maybe it doesn't taste like honey, but it, I'm just gonna like be gross and it is a tad bit more like sharp tasting than regular honey. But if you told me this was a variety of actual honey, I believe you. It's like, you know, when you get little honey sticks and they come in different colors slash like flavors, some of them are just like naturally a little bit more tart than others. I can see this in a honey stick and then someone tell me that it's honey and I'll just be like, okay, this literally tastes like honey, but not like basic typical honey. Like if you told me this was like artisanal honey, cause it has like a slight different flavor than what I'm used to, you know, I'd believe it. This is good. This is delicious. I'm sure that if there was any recipe that needed honey and you substituted it with this, it would be 100% like a good substitute. Good job, nine out of 10. 
9 out of 10. That is really cool. The only downside, the only reason it's not getting a 10 is because I don't know if maybe this is an old batch or something, but the honey is completely crystallized at the bottom. You see that? I don't know. Here we go. You see how uh, the sugar is crystallizing at the bottom? That's not cool or whatever, but other than that, this is really neat. This is a really neat substitute. I like it. Little taste test going to happen right now. I'm trying the new Monk Pack Blueberry Acai Flax Oatmeal Fruit Squeeze. Boom! I'm guessing it's like over at oats, but like in a little fruit thingy, and this one's blueberry flavored. Um, I think you guys know blueberry isn't like my favorite flavor, but it's not bad. It smells kind of like blueberry muffin. Mmm, mmm, I don't know. Mmm, the texture. No. Texture is very strange. Mmm, I don't know. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no. I will eat this, I will finish it. The flavor is fine. It tastes like a tart blueberry smoothie, but the texture, it's like, I don't know. I'm usually fine with like overnight oat texture or whatever. It's not that, it's like, you ever like eat a grape and it's like rotten on the inside or eat a blueberry and it's like rotten on the inside, it's that texture. It's not a great texture. And for that reason, I will give this a 4 out of 10. Like, I would eat it if I was camping and someone had it in their backpack, but I wouldn't buy it, and I wouldn't choose to eat it. So, sorry guys. Monk Pack does make really good cookies, though. This is the Health Warrior Chia Bar in apple cinnamon. It kind of looks like rabbit food. It tastes okay, but it's very sticky. Hey guys, time for a taste test. I've been curious about this jerky for a while. It's called Noble Jerky, and I got it in the teriyaki flavor because before I went vegan, I would always eat teriyaki jerky. It was the only flavor I used to like. That is how the package looks like right there. There's apparently two servings in the container, and it is made with soy protein, sugar, black bean sauce, rice vinegar, spices, garlic, and canola oil. I'm not usually a fan of jerky, I must say. I often find it too salty, so I might be a little more picky than the average person right now. Yo, it smells really good though. Oh my goodness, oh my god, it smells so good. If it tastes like it smells, then we're gonna be good. So that is how, that's how that looks like right there. I really hope this tastes the way it smells. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I only have two complaints. It's super teriyaki-y. It's not so salty that it burns your tongue, which is an issue I have with some other vegan jerky brands. The chew is at a good level. It's not too chewy so that your jaw feels like it's gonna like fall off and it's not too soft. I have two small complaints. It is a little sweet to my liking, but you guys know um, I don't like sweeter things. So for people that like sweeter things, that might be fine. And the sauce, when it comes off the like soy piece or whatever, it's a little grainy, a little bit. Not the end of the world. But because of those two things, I think I would give it a... It almost gets an eight, maybe deadly. I'll give it an 8. I don't want to be petty and give it like a 7.75. It was pretty good. Okay, this review is about to be real quick because I want to eat these gummies. And I technically, this is like the first time I'm having this brand, so I have to put it in my video. But like, I don't feel like recording right now. Um, so, real quick. <clears throat> Nature's Bandits, Mixed Berry, Apple Veggie Fruit Sticks. Oh, they smell healthy. Mmm. They look healthy, too. I thought these were gummies. Very stick to your teethy. Um, it's good. It's very healthy. I would get this for a child. To make them think they're eating gummies, and then it's actually just like fruit, pu fruit puree. Fruit, fruit puree. It tastes good. It just tastes like dehydrated fruit puree. Fruit puree, which is exactly what it is. 7 out of 10. Decent. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Is there anything else that you want me to look for next month? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Not much more to say, so I guess I'll wrap it up. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. 
Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charles, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.